All right, welcome back. So the last thing we want to do for exercise number three is copy our last operation, the slap operation, five more times. So we have a total of six evenly spaced slots all around our cylinder. Now real quick, let's go ahead and take out the toolpath that we see over here. This way it's not too crowded for us and we can just focus on the slots. So just go over here and select your counter, the first toolpath that you created, hold control button and hit the T. Okay, and if you do that, that should make it disappear. There you go. And you'll only see this toolpath right now. This way we can just focus on our slot. So to copy any toolpath, especially around a rotational, it uh, doesn't have to be a, rot a rotational toolpath uh, or rotation around a cylinder. It could be also uh, even an X and Y or Z axis. But you'll have to come over here under toolpath and select transform. So this operation is called the transform operation. Now in this operation, it allows you to select the toolpath that you want to copy. And in this one, it will be the second operation. What you want to do is you want to select rotate around the type. You can translate it, uh, like I said, uh, next to it if you want or over in the X and Y. But for this one, we can rotate it and you can also mirror it. For example, I can mirror that toolpath on the other side of the cylinder. For the method, we're going to select a tool plane and select include origin, uh, uh, unselect include origin. This way it's only the tool plane. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. Uh, it's because we have to select the tool plane, it rotates around. And also over here, you want to select copy source operation. This allows us to copy that operation uh, instead of um, just creating a new operation uh, from there. So it copies that operation, all, the same operation all around my part. Okay. So also, last but not least, you want to come over here under uh, group NCI and make sure that it is under the operation type. And this is where you can select a comment. So you can say over here, transform slot operation five more times. OK, and again, that's because you already have one. You don't want to do six, even though the total amount is six. It, you want to do only five. Otherwise, you'll be machining one slot over again. So you want to go to the rotate tab after you're done. And this is where you select how many instances. Again, this is very, very important. You do not want to have six in here. You want to have five. We're going to have six totally all around our part evenly spaced. Now, if you take 360, which is how many degrees are in a circle, and divide that by six, you would get 60 degrees. That's the degrees that you will be placing under both of these angles. So change those angles to 60 and 60. Okay. And last but not least, you want to select rotational angle and change the top view to the right side view. So think about this as if you're looking at this from the right side view, you want to rotate that around looking at it from the right side view, not from the top view. If you keep the top view here selected, this will rotate around from the top view all around itself. You want to make sure that this is rotated about the origin of the right side view. So it rotates around your cylinder. So make sure to come over here and select this button and change it to right side and select OK. After you're done, just select OK right there and you will see five more toolpath. One, two, three, four, five appear. So this is your original and five more. Now, if you select six, they will look the same. OK, they will look the same, except you will be machining this lot twice. You would start out over here, go around and end up over here again, selecting that twice. Obviously, you do not want to do that and waste time machining. You want to make sure that it is done correctly. Now let's go ahead and select all of our toolpath and select verify selected operations. And I'm going to go ahead and skip through the first one. So select next operation over here and we'll skip through the first one because that one takes the longest. Obviously over here, the feed time is taking 53 minutes and obviously you can make that a lot smaller uh, with a lot of feed changes and uh, speeds uh, as well. So this is your first one all done. OK, so you can uncheck toolpath if you really don't want to see the toolpath and then come over here to the next operation. I'm going to slow it down and select play. So it's going to be up oh, now, even with the slow it down, it, it's really fast operation. So it becomes it does it a lot faster. But there's your five slots. Now, again, this is a. Uh, as one operation. So all of the slots are actually one operation. You notice that usually whenever we have an operation and we have the color loop selected, it changes each operation to that color loop. For example, we have yellow and purple. But as you can see, there is no other color. That's it. There's only two operations, even though 
we have three operations over here. So the transform operation counts this operation or whatever operation you copy as that same operation of the transform. So it doesn't see this as one operation and then the transform as another operation. It sees it all as one operation. That's why you have all of them in one color. So again, if you go to the verify and skip through it all, and this way we'll verify that everything looks good before we finish the video and the chapter. All right, so there is your part. Um, if you want, you can take out the geometry over here or the wireframe um, so you can see it a little bit better. And there is your entire part. It looks really nice. All the slots look exactly like the first video I showed you uh, with the intro uh, to uh, exercise number three. It looks really good. Uh, and that concludes exercise number three.